what's up you guys it's your girl lexi i'm back at you guys with another video and it is sunday so today i am going to be coloring my hair blue oh i've been dying to color my hair blue for so long so i figured that i'd try doing the watercolor thing that i've seen everybody do and i haven't tried it so this is my first time i'm using manic panic i like i said before manic panic is one of my favorite hair products to use it's so beautiful and bright it gives you that bright effect that you really need to make your hair pop so i'm gonna be using that um i definitely when i did this i was like i poured the water in there and i boiled it so that way it was hot and um i looked at it and i was like okay it's a lot of water so i did pour a little bit out and what i did was i just basically i kept on pouring in the hair dye little by little so i just i poured a little bit of the hair dye just to see if i like the color and if it was dark enough and um i'm not gonna lie to you guys it is my first time so i was like shoot like is it gonna come out really dark it's not gonna go come out the color that i wanted to come out because it's supposed to come out a light blue color so i'm not sure i was really scared and skeptical about it so i was like okay like let me just keep on doing you know what i've seen other people do which is just they kept on like boring in there just to get that color so um yeah and you also notice in the video that i dropped my <laughs> i dropped my brush in there a whole bunch of times and i don't know why for some reason i just forgot that i had the brush in my hand i don't know whatever but yeah so i just tested out the color and that's the color that i wanted to come out when i do the hair um color on my hair so i was like okay that's actually a nice color so if i pour some more then it should actually be like really bright and it shouldn't be that light it should actually be a really bright color that i want it to be so i just i basically i kept on pouring more and more and honestly it came out great and i can't wait for you guys to see the rest of this video and see how it turns out and yeah so i dip it in there just a little bit dip it in there um strand by strand because i was iffy like i said this is my first time so i wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out so i just kept on dipping it in there and i was thinking to myself i'm like okay if i dip this all in here is it gonna get my lace blue like is my lace gonna be blue then how do i get the blue lace i mean the blue hair dye out of the lace and i was like you know what i'm just gonna go for it i'm gonna go for it like risk it all you know risk it all for this hair you know what what's the most is gonna happen you know so i was like all right let me just put it in there and see what's gonna happen so i dipped it in there and i just i let it sit in there for a little bit and i just i basically got all the hairs in there i made sure i didn't miss not one part of that hair of that blonde hair because you don't want any blonde parts in that hair so all right you guys ready to see what happened let me show you so this is the final cut girls and boys it is amazing look at that color look at it it's so beautiful look at the baby hairs and the, oh just the front it didn't get the lace at all it still looks intact and good it's still soft it seems more healthier when you do it this way it's just i definitely recommend it to everyone who dyes their hair when they're using a wig um to definitely do the watercolor method it just it really gets that color in there especially when you have your hair blonde it's perfect i will be posting another video on tuesday if you guys want to see how i style this hairstyle on me check it out it's going to be posted on tuesday at midnight bye guys